today what we have is the new <coughs> scales trains GE 9 <coughs> this is the uh, mm, the pink uh, color number 696 with a patch for BNSF uh, some of the details we can look at here I mean there's a lot more than I can point out really but we've got the rusted coupler <clears throat> we've got the dirty pilot deck where the crew has been getting on and off the train we have the weathered type look with the pink blended in with a little darker color uh, on this side we've got a pink type of sunshade you'll notice when we look at the other side that the other sunshade is different if you notice up here on the nose we've got mold and mildew growing from rainwater that sat there we've got the rusted exhaust the black horns and then there's weathering on our walkways when we look at the rear of the locomotive we got some faded paint bubbling paint and then we got some more grease on the walkways rusted coupler uncoupler levers and we've got a deck light down here looking at the fireman side of the engine again you can see the dirt on the walkway the walkway dirt maybe you can see the mold and dirt on the hood notice the sunshade is a little different color and the red over here is a little bit brighter so it's a little different shade of pink and red notice we got the old air or new air conditioning unit off a pumpkin unit that's been replaced so that we have air conditioning on the locomotive and then the splotching and the fading of the santa fe as we look down the side of the engine notice we have a black brake wheel it's unpainted and of course we've got all the detail and uh, documentation on the side of the locomotive that can be read if you've got a microscope. I will tell you that initially when I took it out of the box, it took a little getting used to as far as the look. But I can also say, having been down to Galveston recently and seeing a whole bunch of these units in the deadline, um, once you compare it to those pictures, it looks a lot like more the distressed engines that you see down at Galveston than the deadline. Again, on the rear of the locomotive, we've got the footsteps and the dirt tracking down both sides of the engine. The, the weathering is a little bit lighter on the fireman side of the engine or the conductor side. On the engineer side, it's quite heavy because there apparently would be more traffic on that. Notice also that the window shade instead of being pink on this side it's actually silver and black apparently a replacement from another engine okay now we'll do an overhead view of the engine to see if you can see some of the detail again the rusted exhaust the black horns Notice the heavy footprints on the engineer side of the engine. Not too much weathering along the top. And then here you'll see a contrast between the two sunshades. And then an overview of the nose. MU hoses. Now we'll go through the operational aspects of the engine. Okay, F8 starts the prime mover. Headlight. Dip flights. The 
Bell. And Horn. Here we have the rear view with our lights and if you'll notice down here on the walkway we have one of our walkway lights for the rear of the engine. So we have our number board lights, we have our dual headlights, you'll notice the white light for the walkway light in the center and then we have our ditch lights. We have our step light on the, the uh, engineer side and also the orange doors that were replaced from another unit and then the dirt and traffic steps all along the walkway. This locomotive does not have ground lights. Speed step one. Speed step two. Three. That was the brake sound, the brake setting.
set the power down, you'll notice that the super capacitors are going to give us about between 5 and 6 seconds of power. Okay, when I say go, go, we're going to turn off the power. Power is off. So like I said, you get about six seconds, 25 to six seconds, if you were to have some dirty track or some dead frogs. At any rate, that completes the review of the Scale Frames GE9. Uh, with the uh, pink sort of war bonnet, pink war bonnet, shall we call it? And like I said at the beginning of the video, um, it takes a little while to sort of let it grow on you. But as you start looking at it, you start seeing more and more detail that pops out with just some of the some of the obvious weathering, but then also some of the subtle weathering. Hope you enjoyed the review. And, uh...